Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you a very interesting and very easy recipe. It's yummy also. And the recipe is Tur Dal Methi. Methi means fenugreek leaves and Tur Dal means split peas and peas. It's very yummy to eat with specially boiled rice. So guys, let's see the recipe. Here I have taken one and a half cup of Tur Dal and washed them properly. So now we have to pressure cook it. So we need a pressure cooker. I have a small size pressure cooker and now we have to add the dal. I mean the peas and peas, split peas and peas into the pressure cooker. Now we have to add water in it. About 3 times of the quantity of dal that means lentils. And now we have to add some salt and some turmeric powder into it. 1 teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. And now we have to cover the pressure cooker and cook the lentils for about 15 minutes on medium heat. So let's do it. And on the other hand, I am showing you the ingredients. Here I have taken one bundle of methi that means fenugreek leaves. Washed them properly, drained the water very nicely and after that chopped them finely. Actually I chopped them as fine as possible by me. And here I have taken two medium sized onion finely chopped. 5 to 6 cloves of garlic finely chopped. Actually I chopped them into small pieces not very finely. 2 small sized tomatoes finely chopped and 3 to 4 green chilies cut lengthwise. So here are the things we need and now we have to check the pressure cooker the lentils. So here we go. We need to check the lentils if they are cooked very nicely cooked fully. You can see guys that the lentils are not mashed at all and they are cooked very nicely as you can see as I wanted it and this is the perfect texture for the recipe. So guys let's keep it aside and go for the pan. I turned the heat on and now adding some cooking oil. The pan is already very hot so the oil is also hot. Now I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of uh, mustard seeds, 2 bay leaves, 3 to 4 red chilies and a pinch of hing that means asopotida. So now we have to add the onion and the garlic here and fry them until a nice brown color. The heat is on medium and now we are going to fry them and while frying we have to stir it continuously and the color is nicely brown. So now we have to add the tomatoes and the green chilies into the pan. After adding tomatoes we have to add some salt to soften the tomatoes quickly but we have to remember that we added salt with the lentils while pressure cooking. So don't add too much salt here. So now we have to fry everything until the tomatoes are nicely soft and now the tomatoes are nicely soft as you can see. So now it's time to add the lentils I mean the boiled lentils into the pan. Let's add it. We will add the water too and we will add more water if needed according to our wish as thick as we want the curry to be. So I am going to add some more water. Now we have to cook the curry for about 12 to 15 minutes. So do not add too much water. Keep the water quantity according to the boiling time. Everything is mixed very nicely. So now let us cover the pan until it starts to boil nicely. So after about 3 to 4 minutes the curry is nicely boiling. Now it's time to add the methi that means the fenugreek leaves. So guys let's add the methi into the curry. And after adding the methi we have to cook the curry for about 5 to 7 minutes. The maximum cooking time should be 7 minutes. If you cook your fenugreek leaves for more than 7 minutes the taste may be bitter. So now we have to cover the pan and check the cooking time. Everything is mixed very nicely. So let's cover the pan and come back after just 5 minutes. And after 5 minutes here is the texture of the curry. Our fenugreek leaves are cooked very nicely very perfectly and the consistency of the curry is also perfect. If you want to mash your lentils a little then you may use a hand whisker to mash them. But I am not going to mash them. I really like this texture very much. But you may use a hand whisker like this to mash the lentils. 
so guys now uh, our curry is ready so we have to turn the heat off and wait for about 5 to 10 minutes before serving the texture will be very nice and perfect but before turning the heat off must check the salt add more salt if needed i also added some salt mix the curry nicely and our curry is done let's turn the heat off and cover the pan for some time and after that we will return for serving So guys after 10 minutes here is the texture of the curry. The consistency of the curry is very nice and perfect and the taste is really amazing. It's very yummy to eat with boiled rice and you may enjoy it with roti and chapati as well. So guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.